What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Timothy Desert Storm Bradley takes takes more angles, takes more opportunities to insult and go at Errol Latrue Spence Jr. once again. Timothy Bradley uses his interview this time to say, I'm sick and tired of Errol Spence Jr. I'm sick and tired of talking about him and promoting him. I'm not promoting that, I'm not promoting that guy anymore. I'm with the guy who wants to fight. I'm a friend of Terrence Bud Crawford. Right? Says, I'm sick and tired of that guy. I'm not promoting him anymore. I'm tired of hearing about him. And I'm definitely tired of talking about him. Wow. Last time I checked, Timothy Bradley, you are a boxing analyst. I'll say that again. Last time I checked, Timothy Bradley, you are a boxing analyst. So how could you say you're getting tired of talking about a boxer who's one of the best boxers in the world, who's a champion, who's going into one of the biggest fights in the sport of boxing thus year, right? And how could you say you're tired of promoting him when you're supposed to be promoting the sport of boxing in a whole? So if you're promoting the sport of boxing in a whole, then how could you be tired of promoting a boxer who is one of the best boxers in the world. That sounds pretty odd, doesn't it? Because it's not odd. He's not talk, tired of talking about the boxers on his side of the fence, but he claimed there is no side of the fence, right? He's not tired of talking about the fighters on his side of the fence, right? Because when asked about Tyson Fury, you didn't say you was tired of talking about Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury clearly avoided the fight with Deontay Wilder. He actually signed with your promotional company. He actually signed with your network to a, and avoided fighting Deontay Wilder when Deontay Wilder had already signed his part of the portion of the contract to stage the fight and the rematch. So if you're tired of talking about a fighter because you're saying you're with the fighter who actually wants to fight, then why are you not tired of talking about Tyson Fury, Timothy Bradley? Because you're supposed to be down the middle, right? You're supposed to be equal, and you're supposed to be promoting the sport of boxing. Because you, my friend, are a boxing analyst. And it's supposed to be for the betterment of the sport of boxing. Right? How come you're not tired of talking about Vasil Lomachenko? What about Errol Spence says that you're tired of talking about Errol Spence? Why? Because you was the one that called out Errol Spence and said he was ducking Terrence Crawford. And then Errol Spence responded to you by saying, well, you ducked me. <clears throat> so that, that makes you, that gives you the right as a boxing analyst. To say that you're tired of talking about that guy and you no longer want to promote him. When, you're supposed, when it's supposed to be for the betterment of the sport of boxing. <clears throat> Amazing, isn't it? But then this is the same guy that sat there and said that there's no such thing as two sides of the fence. This is a sport of boxing. Are you kidding me? It's one world. But you're tired of promoting the boxer. That's one of the greatest boxers in the sport of boxing right now. And now let me say, not, don't, don't let me say the greatest because everybody's going to come and say, oh, he ain't great what he did. Well, he's one of the best boxers in the world right now. He's not finished, but he's one of the best boxers in the world right now. Non-disputable. Okay? And then Timothy Bradley goes on to say, I'm with the guy who wants to fight. As if Errol Spence don't want to fight. But Terrence Bud Crawford himself said that Errol Spence is not ducking the fight. But Timothy Bradley comes to Terrence Crawford rescue and says that's what Tim Terrence Crawford has to say because he's the guy in the situation. He's the opponent. So why didn't you force your way to fight Floyd Mayweather, Timothy Bradley? Why didn't you fight your way to force uh, uh, any of the top welterweights that was on the PBC, if that's the case? Why not, Timothy Bradley? Why didn't you fight your way to fight Miguel Cotto, Timothy Bradley? Huh? We know why. Because you stood behind being on the other side of the fence. 
And did somebody say that Timothy Bradley was afraid to fight those guys? I wasn't afraid. Timothy Bradley, you're doing a disservice to the sport of boxing by saying that. You are a boxing analyst. You are you owe it to the boxing world to be proper and be down the middle because you are on TV promoting the sport of boxing. So you owe it to the sport of boxing. It's irresponsible of you to say that you're tired of promoting Errol Spence Jr. It's irresponsible for you to say that you're tired of talking about Errol Spence Jr. It's irresponsible for you to say that you're tired of Errol Spence Jr. in the hole when he's one of the best fighters in the world. Dare I mention what you said about Deontay Wilder, but that's for another video. We're going to leave that for another video. Timothy Bradley, you're doing the sport of boxing a disservice. Errol Spence is one of the best fighters in the world, and, he's, and he could, could very well be on his way to unifying, as you said, that Showtime and Sean Porter don't even have a chance. So that means at the end of this fight, which is one of the biggest fights in the sport of boxing in 2019, if not the biggest boxing match in the sport of boxing 2019, outside of Wilder uh, uh, um, Fury, which is not going to happen in 2020, so Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua, this is the biggest sport of the boxing in the sport of boxing. So not only are you doing Errol Spence a disservice, but you're doing Sean Porter a disservice. Understand that. It's irresponsible of you to do such a thing. There's no way you can say you're tired of talking about one of the best boxers in the sport of boxing. That's irresponsible of you as an analyst. And if you want to have that type of opinion, don't be a boxing analyst. Because it's irresponsible of you to, to, not, to not carry the sport of boxing correctly. How dare you say you tired of talking about Errol Spence. You tired about pro promoting Errol Spence. You tired of hearing Errol Spence's name. But then you go on and say that it's irresponsible of PBC not to place Terrence Crawford as one of the champions when they, when they put up the champions in the welterweight division. Then you talk about the sport of boxing and its well-being. But one of the champions you want to disclaim. How dare you? That's irresponsible of you. That's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. Timothy Bradley says he's tired of talking about Errol Spence Jr. He's tired about hearing Errol Spence Jr. name. He's tired about promoting Errol Spence Jr. He no longer wants to do it. He no longer will do it, which is irresponsible to Tim for Timothy Bradley because you, my friend, are a boxing analyst. You sit on TV. You discuss the sport of boxing. You explain the sport of boxing to casual boxing fans. So you owe it to the people to be honest, whether you're tired or not. You didn't get tired of speaking about Tyson Fury and you're claiming that you in it for the people that want the fight. Deontay Wilder wanted to fight with Tyson Fury. When, when Tyson Fury's name was brought up, you said that he's the best heavyweight in the world, and you glowed about it. You, what, you didn't say that you was tired of talking about Tyson Fury. That's irresponsible. And Tyson Fury had a, a contract signed. Deontay Wilder was waiting for the fight, and it should have took place. And guess what? Tyson Fury reneged. So why you ain't talking about you tired of talking about Tyson Fury until he steps in the ring with Deontay Wilder? We know why, right? Because that invisible side of the fence that you said don't exist, it do exist. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.